Let me start by asking you a question. Have you ever thought about the following? Will I lose my job to AI? Will I become less competitive than my peers in the future? Can my organization keep up in the AI era? Having thought that this can be stressful, but it's actually a good thing if you already started to think about these because it means that your unconscious already registered AI adoption as something that's important, something that you should care about. So now you have the intention to change, which is a first step towards adoption. But you might be like me. You know, almost every day I tell myself, from tomorrow, I will start focusing on AI more. I will start learning about different AI tools and I will start to experiment with them. But then tomorrow comes. We all know what happens, something stressful comes up and we just revert back to how we are used to doing things. And we all know how this story goes because we've seen this in many different aspects of our lives, such as when we wanna get fit for summer or simply we wanna get healthier and eat better. We know what the rational thing is to do, but we simply just don't act like that. And so when during my undergrad, I realized how irrational people are, it became my purpose to understand how we could make that to our advantage. So I did what other fellow anxious overachievers would have done. I completed two master programs and I studied a PhD. <laughs> and so now as a behavioral scientist, I help companies and organizations to understand behaviors and to understand how you can actually help people to change their behaviors and reach their goals. And so if today you wanna learn how you can make your AI adoption journey in a way that it will actually stick, then this talk is for you. And even if you're an early adopter already and you want people around you to use AI more, you can use these learnings to actually support their own journey. But before we get into the uh, psychology of AI adoption, let's start with something easy. What comes to your mind when you see this light bulb? Well, for many of us, it represents something insightful, a great idea, maybe even a breakthrough. But it wasn't always the symbol of breakthroughs. When Thomas Edison first invented electric lighting in the late 1800s, it took almost a century for large-scale adoption to occur. Can you imagine living without electric light? It's simply unimaginable. And the slow adoption really kept societies from fully benefiting from this breakthrough. And so how did we eventually achieve large-scale adoption? It was Edison himself who realized that in order to change minds, you have to win hearts first. So what did he do? For example, he offered to wire J.P. Morgan's home. You can actually see this in person in New York because J.P. Morgan was one of his earliest supporters. So he became an influencer for electric lights. And so all the people who visited his home felt like, oh, wow, this is going to be the new norm. I have to keep up with this. They had FOMO. And so this really illustrates it well, how having superior technology and rational arguments is not enough for adoption. You have to make it emotional. It's also an emotional problem. So what does this tell us about AI adoption? Let's fast forward to today. We face a very similar challenge, but the stakes feel much higher because AI is disrupting entire industries overnight. So it won't wait for us to change in our own timeline, in our own pace. We have to act now as soon as possible. But the good news is that the difference between those who thrive and those who fall behind will not just be about knowledge or willpower. It's actually how smartly you design your own AI adoption journey so that behavior change will actually happen and AI adoption will stick with you. And this leads to one of the most important points of our talk. AI adoption is not just a technological problem. It's also a behavioral one. Let that sink in. We need to understand the psychology behind all of this. And one of the main principles of behavioral science is that we have two ways of thinking. We have system one and system two. System one is the unconscious brain. It's automatic, fast, and effortless. And we have system two, which is the conscious mind. It's rational, but slow and effortful. And it's very important to know because system two is effortful, which means it, lo it requires a lot of mental resources, which we have a finite amount of unlike AI's infinite um, computing power. So we spend on average 10% of our time under system two, the conscious system, and we spend 90% of our time with the unconscious brain. And this is very important because if we try to change and push ourselves con consciously, that's gonna be slow and ineffective. 
we need to do something smarter. And the smarter thing to do is actually to influence or rather trick your unconscious mind into changing so that it becomes effortless and easy, which sounds great, hopefully. All right, so how can we do that when it comes to adoption? I brought you three behavioral science power tips that you can start doing from tomorrow to achieve your adoption goals. Firstly, it's very important to make it easy and to reduce friction. So how can you do that? You know, we hear a lot about all these different AI tools, you know, there's always something new popping up and we, we try to keep up with everything, but we quickly get overwhelmed by it. So what you can do is to choose one AI tool first. It could be Copilot, Gemini, ChatGPT, whichever you prefer, but you know, stay with that one and master that first. Because if you have too many options, you're just simply not going to make a choice. And so you can even talk to an expert, a friend, and, and, and get a suggestion and just go with that one. The second th thing to do is to make it worthwhile for yourself to adopt AI. So link goals to rewards and actually make those goals public. So for example, when you're at work and you do your quarterly planning with your manager, set specific AI adoption goals and link them to monetary or non-monetary rewards that you look forward to. Because then your unconscious brain, brain will know that, okay, there's a reward inside, I don't want to lose it, and we start acting in a way that I will actually achieve it. And if you want to make this even more effective, you know, make your goals public. Say it to your team, say it to your colleagues. Hi, everyone. In the next 60 days, I will automatize 50% of my reporting goals. And this will work very well because we want to avoid public shame at all costs. So again, an unconscious brain will find ways not to make that happen. And finally, and this is the most powerful tool that you can use, you have to make it feel like being an early adapter is the new norm and your new identity. And you can do this by surrounding yourself with people who are maybe more ahead in their journey, AI adoption journey. So maybe sit next to an early adapter at, at work or join AI expert groups. And this is important because we are social beings. So we always look at others to see how we should behave. And when you surround yourself with people who you aspire to, your brain will register it as the new norm and you will start acting in a way that you fit in. And if you tell yourself, well, from tomorrow, my new identity is that I'm an early adapter, again, your brain will start acting in a way that it reads that fiction and it will become your reality. So these are three easy tips that you can do. But this is where the power of behavioral science truly shines. Because with these conscious and well-planned interventions, you can accelerate your AI adoption journey because they will spark a wave of momentum that drives lasting adoption. And so if you want to be an early adopter, then you can use these tips. And if you are an early adopter already or a leader, you can support your surrounding and your friends, your coworkers in their adoption journey. Because the sooner we all adopt to AI, the sooner we can benefit from it as a society. So I will leave you with this final challenge. Are you ready to future-proof your career by accelerating your AI adoption? Then take these steps and let's go. Thank you.